Assalamu alaikum beautiful people welcome to another civil engineering video dear friends this is Sami and you are watching civil engineers YouTube channel dear friends if you are quantity surveyor so you must remember 10 points before starting quantity survey of any building or any structure in civil engineering and these 10 points are too much important okay so you must remember these 10 points if you are a quantity surveyor let's get started and don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends so the first point is study the drawings carefully because without the drawing we are not able to find the quantity of any structure in civil engineering remember that all the dimensions of any building are present in the drawing okay and we can find the quantity of any object with their drawing sheet okay so without study drawing we can't calculate quantity of any structure in civil engineering right second one is finalize the items of work with their units of measurement and prepare the checklist of item okay this is also the important point and the third one is write the brief description of each item of the work on the measurement sheet okay the fourth one is calculate length weight and depth of the different components for calculation of quantity of concrete and farm work okay and the fifth one is calculate the quantity of farm work for beam column okay many people they are finding the quantity of uh, any structure but sometimes they forget quantity of farm work for beam and column okay so keep in your mind this point if you want to find the quantity of any structure in civil engineering right so six number is enter the length width breadth and depth or height and measurement sheet for concrete and farm work items okay seventh one is prepare bar bending schedule okay bar bending schedule is too much important because we have different types of steel and different types of uh, die of steel and also different types of uh, bend up shapes okay so we have to prepare the bar bending schedule because without the bar bending schedule we are not able to find the accurate quantity of any uh, building structure quant uh, any building structure okay eighth one is calculate the length of bars of different diameter and different components such as slab beam column footing etc so many people they find the quantity of any building okay for the steel structure okay so we have a different types of steel and different die of steel okay so we have to find the quantity of uh, steel for the different dia okay such as slab beam column and footing etc okay the ninth one is calculate the number of bars of different diameter and different components so for example if we have some components like slab beam and column so there are the uh, different bars for that okay and slab is a different diameter um, slab steel is a different diameter and sometimes we use the different diameter of steel and column and also in footing okay so calculate the number of bars of different diameter and different components okay too much important is this one point okay sometimes we forget at sight when we are finding the quantity of uh, any structure okay the last one is enter the number length and weight of bar for different bars and different components and bar bending schedule okay in bar bending schedule we have uh, we use uh, their uh, in a building works we use uh, 8 mm dia 10 mm dia 12 mm dia okay uh, etc so there we have to find the weight of steel for the different diameter okay we can such a use this one formula mm, d square okay uh, d square divided by 162 okay we can find the weight of steel and kg per uh, meter okay so this formula we are using for that okay now uh, for more detail you are able to visit to my website www.civilstudents.com where you can find these sheets so there are the different articles about civil engineering okay so see you in next lecture thanks for watching bye bye